What's going on guys? Want to mess here back with a new Raid Shadow Legends video. Today I've got a really cool video to show you guys. I did an arena collaboration with the Deadwood Jedi. So right off the bat, if you're seeing this video first, please go check out the first part of the video over on Deadwood's channel. And then hopefully you come on back to watch the second part. I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, if you are new to my channel after watching Deadwood's video, first of all, welcome. I'm an endgame player who primarily focuses on platinum level arena. And I finish in the top 10 Platinum pretty consistently every week. Um, Deadwood reached out to me for some help on his arena teams and to specifically do a video on Go second teams. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. And in this video, we're going to be actually building and testing some of those champions to kind of showcase uh, what they can do. Um, so unfortunately, the audio, if you watched part one, we did have a little bit of an audio issue. Uh, Deadwood sounds great. Uh, I sound a little bit uh, scuffed, but overall I think that the knowledge is still really good and should be very helpful if you're interested in kind of a higher level arena. Um, but if you find this video interesting, if you would consider subscribing to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I plan to keep on putting out new videos related to Platinum Arena and hopefully they can be helpful and informative to everybody. Um, that's enough for me. Let's jump right into the video. All right, well, let's. I think uh, I think we've covered a fair amount of this. So let's. Why don't we talk about what kind of team you think is going to best suit me for a go second team? I know we've highlighted like we've highlighted all these champions that I have, and I just don't know how to use properly because I'm not great right. at arena yet. Um. Uh. But like my my I, I you know I cut my teeth on uh, gold three and gold four, so <laughs> that's where I'm at now. I want to try and move up into the platinum idea. So um. And it's just that mindset switch of like, how do I use these champions, right? And it's such right. a different, such a different thing that you know. That's this is kind of where uh, I feel like you can really shed some light. So we've talked about Hegemon, we've talked about Kaimar, we've talked about Lysandra, we've talked about Valkyrie. Do we just throw all four of them into a team together and say good night? <laughs> no, that... no, 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 no. The whole, the whole, the whole point of this and having a go second team is that you can build entirely dedicated go second teams. Um, what we're kind of doing right now is we're building flexible champions in case you're slower than someone, which forces you to be a go second team, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. So what I think we should do is we definitely got to change your hegemon. That is unacceptable. That we can do. That we can do. Um, okay. I'd like to, I didn't see the exact stats on your Valkyrie. We can definitely take I... a look at. Does not have my best immunity gear, so we can switch that up. So well, you, you actually, you don't need, like, the funny thing is, is you don't need crazy gear because you don't need to focus so crazy on her speed because she boosts so much of her own turn meter because you usually use her against CP teams. Mm -hmm. um, you can run her around, like, the 220 to 230 range, and then she will skyrocket her own turn meter that you can focus a lot on the accuracy. Got you, got you. Okay, well, definitely can definitely can mess with that. Um, I suppose first thing I should like, let's talk about the champions that I, I I'm using currently, right? Since we're talking about right. adjusting to what I already have, um, that seems to make sense. So I run uh, Siffy as my primary champion, right? She's my speed champion, as we said. She's going two three fifty two. Um, I think we we talked a little bit about this before. I can make her a little bit faster, but I give up. A fair amount of her sustain, and I didn't really feel like that was worth it because I'm still not going to get to your, you know, three. Yeah, you said. Speed. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's really weird, like how much speed is worth losing good gear. Um, it's the faster you get, the more it's worth it, which is kind of weird to think about. Like mm. when you're at my speed, if I could change, I have defense percentage gloves. If I could drop those for crit damage and gain six speed, I would instantly do it. But you said you could switch to crit damage gloves for maybe like less than less than three or four or like around three maybe four which at this speed where you're not quite at that level yet um i would say is not really worth it you should be more concerned with having um a well-rounded build yeah that's kind of what i've that's that was the conclusion i came to as well um so i have like crit rate gloves with 18 speed that i could i can obviously glyph up and i got these Crit damage with 21 speed, and I got a crit rate with 19 speed that I can glyph up as well. I think those are my fastest pieces right now. Um, right. It's so it's so funny how specific these are. I do have a crit rate with 20 speed already glyphed. Um, so I I obviously can get faster. Like these are the crit damage gloves I was thinking of. Crit I've damage got... for plus one speed. <laughs> yeah, not worth it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like what I have right now, 23 speed glyphed. 
um, but their defense percentage that helps her stay alive. She will often stay alive very even if the rest of my team gets nuked. She'll stay alive, revive my arbiter who revives everybody else, and we survive. So I I didn't feel like three or it's four like speed was an amazing champion. It's almost like that. Almost. Yeah. I um, mean, crazy <laughs> to think about, right? Um, and then the other champions I have, obviously, I go. So I have arbiter as my speed lead. And so I mm. usually go, I do double boost. I go Siffy into Arbiter. Uh, and the reason why uh, Siffy doesn't have the greatest of speed boosting abilities, right? It's a 10% turn meter boost. Right. And then the 30% speed. Very helpful. But when you're talking at high levels, when I'm actually struggling to outspeed someone, it can, it's, uh, the rest of my champions have to be super fast in order to keep up if I don't have a second booster. So uh, this works for 90% of what I do. But she's at 314 speed. Uh, okay. And then I have, and then I usually go into uh, Madam Saris, right? Two seventy six in the immunity gear, and then from oh, that, wow. and then from that, I hope that was a good. Oh wow, I feel like that. Was... Uh, that it's just that's extremely fast. Oh yeah, great. Uh, and then from that, I go into uh, Trunda, who I have at two forty three. Um, and That's also extremely fast. Yes, yes. I'm very happy with my trend. Though. She's she's my darling. Uh, we go on long walks on the beach together. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> she's She treats me well. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with my trend. Uh, not Savage Gear. It's the only thing that I don't have on her. But otherwise, I, I really like her build. Um, but yeah, so those are that's kind of what I do right now. Uh, what I had tried to do was I would insert, basically I'd insert Hegemon for Madame Saris. Uh, when I right. came up against teams that I figured were faster than me, or sometimes other hegemon teams, um, just kind of to give it a, a counter to that. But that was kind of the approach I went with it. Um, but yeah, I guess we should we should go ahead and start building, and then we can. Uh, well, you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna build these champions. We're gonna interject. I'll I'll you know cut some of this out in the video, so you guys are gonna see pieces of it if there's interesting conversation or, or points that need to be made but uh we, i don't think you guys need to watch us build the whole thing <laughs> so uh yeah let's let's uh if, if you're down let's go ahead and uh start start yeah building. absolutely let's do it um so should we start with hegemon i suppose that makes the most sense right yeah yeah let's definitely start with hegemon he should okay. be um he should be the easiest the easiest to fix so perfect okay so what what is the what do i need to do Walk so in. first off, get rid of anything that has, or get rid of anything that has crit rate on it. Okay. Um, get rid and get rid of these. Yeah. Get rid of these crit damage. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, I think that's going to be the entire build. I'm just letting you know that right now. Yep. That's no. okay. No. Yep. And yep. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. And yep. That one too. All right. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Yep, yep, that one as well. All right, cool. Crit okay. rate free. Let's double check those accessories. Do you build your hedges first to stay alive? Like, are you giving him HP, defense, that kind of thing? So no. I try to give him um, stuff with HP percentage on it, but his defense sucks. So I'll generally try to give him, like, a defense ring or amulet that has, or, like, specifically the ring with good health percentage on it. Gotcha. All right, so now what, we, what we're going to do for the actual gear, I always like to start with the bottom row. Yeah, um, same. For for champions like this where we're going more supportive, it's not quite as important. But for other champions, especially damage dealers, it's much. You definitely want to start with your bottom. Um, so most obviously we're going to be doing we're going to be doing speed boots. We want accuracy with it. We're going to have an accuracy chest with speed. By and the way, gloves can can kind of uh, fluctuate. By the way, guys, if you are building your champions like we're doing right now, where we're trying to make a complete build, use the fitting room. Just use the fitting room. Save yourself oh, some yeah, silver. It's so nice. It's such a it's such a lifesaver. Like honestly, because you're trying to get to certain stats, it's great to know if you're going to be there before you equip the stuff. So uh, it's very common to do a crowd control set to build on him. I've heard of people say... doing like taunting or stun, um, right. and being very successful with that. And I'm, I'm actually going to say right now, I'm not a huge fan of it. The reason being is, um, I guess it's mostly Tormund, but um, those count, that counterattack mastery, the one, um, I forget, the deterrence, I think, 20% mm -hmm. um, chance to counterattack when like somebody else on the team is, is one of those debuffs. Yeah. Tormund can AOE hit you, freeze your whole team. 
Um, there's a lot of candor funds on teams now. He would just A1 and he admittedly he would hit your, your hegemon, but he would pro possibly kill your hegemon. So I've just been, I've been sticking with uh, non crowd control sets. Um, I think if you're going to run hegemon on your defense, I think that relentless is actually a really interesting set. Um, because when defense is nowadays, it's all about throwing as much RNG in there as you possibly can to throw people off, mm -hmm. especially with the new AI. Um, if you can, like, relentless hegemon A1 proc over and over and over again, it can totally throw off someone's team. So that's, like, if you have the gear, I would use relentless, but I would prioritize the stats first. Um, I've got five-star stuff as well. Um <laughs> Let's try on, let's go with the Lissandra one for now. I say I got five star stuff and he laughs. Classic. Well, I mean, we're, I mean. You're right, you're right, you're right. I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm not, I'm not angry. I just, you know, I find it humorous. Um, great. All right, we got the Lissandra piece on. Cool. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's pretty good. 225 speed. It's pretty fast, I think, for Hegemon. Yeah. Um, and 569 accuracy. So let's go ahead and equip that. And we have a bunch of stuff not even glyphed. And his yep. masteries are wrong. Yep. Oh, let's for okay. Let's for sure change these masteries. Yes, absolutely. So I assume all the accuracy over here, right? When I do masteries, I like to take the masteries as far as I know I'm going to lock them in with, and then kind of adjust from there. If that makes sense. Like, okay. yeah, you're right on the. We know 100% we're taking Evil Eye. Or do you take? We definitely want Sniper because his A1 is not 100% chance. That's what I was. The decrease speed. <laughs> and then personally, I think yeah, we're gonna take Eagle Eye. All right. So that's, we have our support all the way down. That's locked in. Perfect. Obviously, I think we're going to take more of them within the support tree, but I'd like to get our other tree started. The defense tree tends to benefit, um, like if we were in a crowd control set, it has a lot of really good stuff for this. Mm -hmm. um, so it, what I'm trying to say is that defense tree isn't going to be like amazing for us, but it'll be helpful. Specifically, I'm a bigger fan of taking the resistance because it leads into improved parry, you like which that. I think is significantly better than blast proof. Okay, that makes sense. That's fine by me. Um, so on the the second row for support, he doesn't do any shielding, so we don't need shield bearer. And I'm not like a huge fan of exalt in death, the one that heals when someone dies on the enemy team. Um, oh. Sorry, I'm talking about the support tree. Oh, over Cause here because we're not. Yeah, because yes. basically my question was now that we're going, we can we can do two oh, on the like, defense tree. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So I I would take the resistance on the defense tree. Improved parry. And then I would take the uh, the healing and shield one. Not because he does shields, but because we'll probably have him with Sifi quite a bit. Yeah. And Sifi does, a, it's small healing, but it's a lot of healing. And so uh, now our question is, we're going down, so what other masteries do we want? I'll tell you right now, anybody who's watching this video, if this even makes it in, Resurgent on the defense tree is broken. One to the left of Bloodthirst. This, oh, this one? This ability, or this mastery is ridiculous. Yeah. This mastery single-handedly loses me more fights than anything else in this game. <laughs> it's really strong. I see that happen a lot, uh, yep. a lot, a lot. Where there, you... are, there are entire builds based around this mastery. Personally, I like Arcane Celerity. Um, he does... We're going to open with the A1 usually, but in case the fight goes longer, his A2 does two debuffs team wide so he, he just overall he does a lot of debuffs that ability gives us more turn meter when they are gone or removed good excellent excellent so i'm assuming delay death is our only real yeah, the only one that's kind of left is delay death which in arena a lot of the time it you a lot of the time you can't really live long enough for this to kind of come into play <laughs> because yeah. um, if you get into a long fight against a team that's stalling you you don't even need this. So it's like, it's what, because it's, they most likely don't have a proper damage dealer. Yep. Acknowledging that fact, would we be better going with Harvest Despair just in the future if we decide to build a weird uh, team? I was, I was actually going to bring that up. I was going to say, I think you could definitely make an argument for just taking Harvest Despair in case the meta shifts, something changes. Maybe you just want to test out a crowd control set. Um, realistically since we already took eagle eye if you wanted to go full crowd control set you'd have to redo masteries anyways to get uh fearsome presence at the bottom okay so i think this is like the big one of the big ones is like do we go a cycle of magic 
or do we go with Laura Steele? I already suggested Laura Steele. That seems to right. me to be the logical choice because this stat bump will work for accuracy. It works for crit rate. It works for pretty much all those basic sets that we get. So am I correct in assuming this is the skill to take here? Yeah, in my opinion, it's Laura Steele. Um, some people might like Cycle of Magic for additional RNG, but now that we control AI on Hegemon, especially on defense, um, most people are opening with the A1 anyways, so it's kind of like we don't really need Cycle of Magic. It's, yeah, it's definitely the stat boost. So Gotcha. And then I assume pretty much everybody in Arena builds takes Cycle Revenge at this point. Just for that extra it's not so much that you put it on like every champion, but it's more so that we actually don't want those counterattack masteries. Um, oh. Similar to uh, similar to the crit rate on Hegemon, if you have counterattack masteries, we might accidentally proc cycle revenge on somebody else. Exactly. Understood. Understood. You might okay. counterattack, proc cycle of revenge for their booster, and then they might cut in on you. It sounds. It sounds like silly or maybe like a crazy situation, but that's that is exactly what happens. That makes sense. Um, and so then, what do we take for our last mastery? Because you know we have selfless defender where he could maybe save oh. some of our other champions. This one's nice and easy, master hexer. Hegemon has a lot of buffs. They're good, bu or excuse me, debuffs. They're really powerful debuffs. And in case something goes wrong in your fight, if you can get that thirty percent chance and extend that debuff. It can make a huge difference. Okay. An extra turn of decrease speed on a Siffy is amazing. Possibly an extra turn of decrease attack on a Trunda. That's the difference between you living and dying. So. Okay. Perfect. Easy. There we go. Let's see how much accuracy we got now. Six hundred and six hundred nineteen. Unglyphed. Unglyphed. Six nineteen two twenty five speed. Looking good. I'm I'm a little bit low on my accuracy glyphs, but that's I think this is a pretty good spot. I will definitely be glyphing this up. Ooh. Ooh. Sexy he's looking Hegemon. good. Yeah, he's looking real good. <laughs> I um, think we can just take a peek at Valkyrie because I think you had her already, uh, like in the right direction. We got our two twenty five speed, four twenty accuracy. Right. Um, I still built her defense out. Uh, her HP is kind of low. To be fair. So basically, we want to do this, but give her two hundred more accuracy. Okay. Cool. 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 <laughs> cool. 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 Is that glove? Is the 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 six star glove? Is that one? Of, uh, how many rolls on accuracy is that? Just one. Okay. All right, there's there's no rolls on accuracy with this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I. Oh, is it behind my head? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. I should have also told you that I can't see the gear that you look at. Yeah. Yep. 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 Probably. Okay. Probably, probably helpful. We're gonna just. We're, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna. We're gonna buddy up here. We're gonna buddy In the middle, up, yeah. buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey. hey bud <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh gosh <laughs> if we get the with the mastery that should take us what pretty close to 600 right we'd be 550 550 we got that going masteries let's do this bad boy i'm gonna, and... gonna pull up my masteries to uh because valkyrie masteries are super weird um or at least when when i did them they sure were weird. So yeah, we de yeah we definitely want pinpoint. We definitely want charge focus. Definitely swarm. We know we need evil eye. But hold up, hold up on that lore. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. We don't need but, either of these, but yeah, those are both useless. But we need one of them to get to uh, eagle eye. Sweet. We'll take sniper. Uh, Do no. a little zigzag. Yep. The, the, the oh man, the famous zigzag. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Let's see where that takes us. 550 exactly valkyrie is like especially arena valkyrie is kind of just a weird champion and you can go a bunch of different ways mm -hmm. um i took shield bearer on the support tree because you know obviously she does shields oh right so that's the tier two on the support tree yes that makes sense and then i also took rapid response yeah and then i did end up taking lore of steel damn right what i'm talking about good, good. and then i took um <laughs> i took like like a pretty much a straight straight shot sh down the defense tree yeah yep because i like the defense um the i do prefer improved parry but rejuvenation works on her own shield on herself yep and then it's, it's broken crucially we need resurgent even if i understand she's in immunity but 
in case something goes wrong in the fight, except like in case something happens. So 100. I'm surprised you don't come here to solidarity though. And, and then, then personally here, um, the I took the counterattack because. It's a, a folly, she, not a folly of my youth, but, you know. No, but she also has decreased turn meter on her A1, so you're not really Right, but, but people are attack, but she only counterattacks who's attacking her, and you're at zero turn meter when it's your turn, so. No, oh, that's true. That's kind of pointless. So, yeah. Personally, I would probably just take Selfless Defender. Um, she kind of has, like, a very specific function, which is to slow down the enemy team. If something goes wrong and then they're able to take turns and start damaging you, if if she can keep like your Sifi or your Arbiter alive with that, um, personally, I think that would be a good job for her and that'd be valuable. So. Agreed. Okay. Cool. All right. She set two forty speed. That's even better. Um, you said Kaimar. Is that right? Yeah, I kind of wanted. I wanted to look at Kaimar and or Lissandra. Um, probably most specifically Kaimar. Okay. Um, cool. So what's kind of the, do you, I mean, I assume accuracy again, right? It's kind of the big thing. Right. Yeah. I'm interested in, um, we pretty much just took your best uh, immunity gear for Valkyrie. Um, so we wouldn't really be able to put together a proper immunity Kaimar. So what I would be looking to do is, well, I guess he's wearing some decent speedy pieces. I, I can get this Kaimar <laughs> about the same. I mean, actually I can get it a lot faster, probably 260. I think. Uh, in the, that's that's not gonna cut it. Cool. Um, <laughs> what I'm interested in. You're like, doing, oh, Jed, <laughs> two sixty speed. <laughs> Cute. Uh, so okay, so I what what I want to see if we can do is, can you make Kaimar three hundred and seven speed, with good accuracy. What's good accuracy? 400 plus. Basically, accuracy chess piece, accuracy banner, Let me see. a decent amulet, and then like some subs. Let's so we are, what was it, 307? So we're 13 speed off. The let's... weapon and the gloves are unglyphed, I think. And so yeah. is the chess piece. Let me, let's put this on and we'll see yeah, where we get a, yeah. to. Yeah. I mean, and, this is, if we can get the speed, this is looking solid. And it, we should check his masteries as well. By the way, guys, if you'd like to speed tune your team, it's on my website, Arena Speed Calculator. Feel free to use it. That's the calculator I use to tell Deadwood this speed right now. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Um, okay. I love that calculator. There you go. That's it. That's good. Yeah, that's what I do. I hate taking these pieces off Claude. Those are really nice. Uh, <laughs> set pieces. But it's fine. It's fine. It's good. It's for Kaimar. It's worth it. I really like Claude. I really want to use Claude some point, some way. I have to figure that out now. Um, but yeah, that's great. All right, yeah. 312 speed, 512 accuracy. That's pretty solid. And then uh, masteries. We need to reset these, yes. right? Let's, yes, yes. Okay, okay. okay. Sensibility is offended. Was... <laughs> so I'm so, assuming yeah, we're... Our... Same thing as before, yeah. right? The zigzag accuracy stuff? Uh, it's very similar. Um, so yeah, charge focus, and then I do I do swarm and the uh, the one next to it on the right. Want to do arcane uh, celerity? Arcane, yep, for sure. Yep, and then the lore and evil eye. Yep. And then master hexer, e and then eagle eye. And then I actually take um, the movement speed one with dead allies. Mm, okay, spirit haste. Spirit haste. Yeah, I, I'm I'm super familiar with these Kaimar masteries. That's why I can kind of do these super fast. Um, Great. We take uh, resistance here, and then improved parry with the healing and shield one. Oh no 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 no! no. The um oh this the, with rejuvenation. Rejuvenation. Take resurgent, and then we definitely take broken. the um harvest despair. Harvest. Yep. Because every time no the sleep lands, attack. yeah, yes, we are going to yep. take cycle revenge. Exactly. Yep. And that's it. Perfect. Oh, that's great. Yeah, those that are the exact sense. masteries I run on my Kaimar. I tell everybody this is. Those are what I think are the best Kaimar masteries that you can do personally that for works. this type for this type of build. 
For those of you wanting to build your Kaimar, here you go. There's the stats. That's what you want to do. There's the masteries. Right here. <laughs> now that I've Kaimar speed tuned, would you right. ever not run Kaimar with Siffy? Is there a reason not to? What, uh, what do you mean? Well, like, I always run... I run... I've always run Siffy into Arbiter, into Ceres, into Trunda. But right. it seems like that running Siffy into Kaimar just makes way more sense. Uh, I'd still be careful up against, like, Force-heavy teams. Because um, specifically against, like, Kandrafon. Mm -hmm. um, this strategy... Siffy into Kaimar is really strong because that can allow you to... You can run your Madam and your Damage Deal. Or you can run those other next two champions quite a bit slower. Because mm -hmm. now you don't have to have that, that speed tune, right? So you can right. pump a lot more damage into their builds. But that also means that you're taking a little bit of a risk. If something goes wrong with Kaimar, if you get 3% resisted, or if they just have enough resistance to resist you, or if you weak hit a Force Champion, if you're running the, your other people on your team a little bit too slow, you might, get into, uh, you might get into some tough situations. So Force Heavy teams, I, would, I wouldn't say don't run it, but just be, I would be a little bit more careful, specifically Kandrafon. Because if you weak hit him, you won't sleep him, you won't strip him, and you'll buff his turn meter. Oh. And then he'll probably end up just going and wiping your team. So that okay. would be an example of a team where I would run a more standard. That's like, where I bring Arbiter back in, I or I at least use you know Madam Saris in the at three oh seven to get his buff right, off. Yeah, or you could run specifically like that speedy Saris just to strip them, get that decreased attack on, mm -hmm. uh, like you know, et cetera. So. Okay, no, that's great to know. Actually. I would, I would say most of the time you should probably be running Sifi into Kaimar. Okay, Sifi into Kaimar. Yep. And, but so this is great. So these are good. These are. I'm very intrigued as these go as like go second type of teams. Um, right. I think that's really cool. Is there any way like uh, we can actually let's let's try a couple of these. I would say let's yeah let's go test some stuff out. <laughs> Kill people. I like it. <laughs> Let's put Valkyrie back in. I want to just see the team. I don't care if we lose or not yet. We just okay. want, to see, we want to see it. Let's make it happen. Oh, and um, be careful leaving it on auto because Kaimar will open up with his A3 instead of sleeping. You're right. Okay, there you go. So we dropped the sleep. Yep. It's fine. Oh, see, yeah. We didn't have to be worried. Or I didn't have to be worried. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. that's where we do the A1, right? Right. And, and it's not specifically because... Um, not because we need to drop turn meter, but because we didn't want to wake up Nethral in case he would cut in and then hit our kind and hit our Trunda. No matter. No matter. Uh, we don't really need to be super worried about a team of this caliber, but. But okay, okay, okay. So like for something like, like this, all of these teams, yeah. What would this be good? What would we do here? Trun uh, like the same kind of thing, Hegemon. If, if they are faster than you, yes, it would be Hegemon again. If we're trying to run, like the safer thing would be to um, just drop run Madam. It would just be drop. It would yeah. It would just be run Siffy instead of Madam. Okay. Oh, with yeah, sure that would make with sense. the Hegemon, yeah. So this chances are we're still going to go first, but this will ensure it pretty much by reducing the Terminator their fastest. Champion. Yeah, it's it's basically at the higher level. If you fought a team like this in Platinum, mm -hmm. um, this, like you know that this team is super squishy and you don't actually even need the defense down from Madam. So why would you take the risk of right. possibly them being fast? Just run Hegemon. Oh, jeez. Yep. They, um, I would sleep the Ray. They full tanked your Trunda. That's not a good sign. No. This is, I mean, look, I'll be honest with you. My main team is going to be great for most stuff that I do. But it is so nice to be having options now to know that, okay, this team's probably faster than us. I have a Hegemon that can work on this. This team might yeah. be faster than us. I have a Kaimar that can work on this. And just understanding the system that goes into it, I feel like is really, really uh, valuable. Um, I just want us to get some, some actual, I don't know, some challenge. better clips, I guess. Some better team, some showcasing it properly. Yeah, and just see if we can do that. Okay. Like what? Like, I get. I mean, they have. Oh wait, they have a Crisk, so they're not super squishy. But like, there it goes. All right, so we reduced a bunch of their turn meter. Yep. Take down Arbiter. Oh 
God, that is really like look funny. at how much turn meter that drops. It's it's, cr- cool. it's crazy how much that drops. Sleep. Oh. AOE full team sleep. Decrease defense and weaken, and it doesn't wake them because it's not an attack. Exactly. And then we just come in and nuke the heck and out of them. Oh man, that is sexy. Oh, oh, I feel so good. <laughs> it never <laughs> happens. Oh man. Oh, I just autoed that. Well, it worked out. Um, yeah. And my and my corners aren't like you know fifty million damage corners. Okay, so they're clearly faster than us, but yep. God, so great Valkyrie cutting in. Taking down Arby, getting that sleep out. Oh, oh, sorry guys, my turn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we are the best ever. Die. See, it's Dude. just uh, it's so nice and easy. Like just it is like uh, it is a sexy team. It is a very sexy team. I like that a lot. Um. Ooh. I'm glad you're enjoying the the Valkyrie. I'm enjoying it so much, like so much. It's so great. Uh, it's wonderful. Oh, here's a question for you: Would you, yeah. who would you use instead of Madame Saris for that team? Like, if I wanted to use Madame Saris in one of my other three v three squads, is there another team you would use her with? Another team I would use Madame with, or who would I replace Madame on the team with? That's yes. Who would you replace Madame on the team with? I'm sorry, I didn't speak quite. Right. Mad- the reason why I still tend to prefer Madam is because you sleep people with Kaimar, and then there is the the mastery that um, it was when not an attack. sleep. Well, no, 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 no. When sleep wears off of you, it can give you block debuffs. Um, mm-hmm. I'm trying to. Remember, I can't remember the name of the mastery. So, like my non Madam, I would run Gurktuk. Okay. Oh. You could run Gurptuk, you could run Warlord. I understand Warlord would wake people up, but he would hopefully lock them out, but that's a little dangerous. Gurptuk doesn't wake people up, though. Mm. So he puts the block buffs on for potential Swift Parry people, and then once we change your Trunda Masteries, um, he boosts Trunda's damage by 32.5%. Oh, wow. So it's obviously not quite the same as decreased defense on the enemy, but he does a similar job. So if you yes. have a Gurp Tuck, I think he's really good. I do. Or he's you good. could run um you could run another damage dealer. You could possibly run if your Rodos isn't on team that team one, you could run Rodos to try to finish off somebody who procs with parry. Or a Genbo. Um, you mentioned that earlier, right? Yeah, Genbo. Here we go. I had everything on the auto and I wasn't playing attention. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, oh, A1. A1. I know. I knew it. I got it. I caught myself. Boom. Perfect. Oh god, this looks this works so good. The Valkyrie thing it's is just, just insane. Alright, so okay, so now, yeah, so lock people up. Actually, you could just A2 here. I could But A2. if you want to test locking people out, I think A2 is the safer route because you don't need Trend is just gonna kill people. Right? It's true. Or we hope. Yeah, we could do this. So basically she only oh, if geez. he was the only one. Alright. Hopefully we kill them. Could I just Wait, no, a- don't a one? Okay, I knew that. I knew that. I was just, 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 just checking. Yeah, just just. So now CP's gonna revive Arbiter, but we're we're just resetting with Kaimar. We're just gonna she's, do it again. She's not gonna revive Arbiter. We locked her skills out. What? Oh, well, you're you're about to lock her out. <laughs> oh, we didn't. Th- that's right. Because we the didn't A2, the first time. Yeah, Good yeah. Call. But now we did. So it's great. She's done. Um. Very cool. Yeah, so that worked. I mean, that was pretty solid. Pretty solid. Yeah. What a cool! This is awesome, man. Thank you so much for this. Like, yeah, absolutely. Not only I, I mean, look, just from a personal level, it's awesome to have new toys and actually be able to play with them. Um, yeah. to know how to play with them, and I, like this is opening my eyes into how how you go about doing this. Obviously, Valkyrie is incredibly important as far as interrupting. Um, Kaimar is incredibly important as far as. Uh, his strength in arena because I've never really been able to fully grasp how he's so good. Um, I know he's yep. great, right? And like, I, like in my head, I'm like, okay, like he he locks them all down, he strips all their debuffs, it's perfect. Mm-hmm. He's got a great speed or okay, he resets your skill. Like all these things make sense to me, but like it's different seeing him in action and going, oh, that's, yeah. that's putting the build together, work. actually using him, seeing it in action, just seeing the combination. All the versatility that you have now, it's just, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
this is i mean this is honestly really i mean just really great like and then you know thank you again for using the arena calculator which like it is on the website if you go to my yeah. website deadwithjedi.com there's an arena speed calculator it's really valuable to ensure that your team doesn't get cut in in fact if you want to avoid a team like mine you can you can test it to have valkyrie in there uh and make sure that you don't get cut in um so like there's options for that um but yeah this is uh this is i literally have a command for it in my stream that's how much i use it wow wow there we go there you go you guys can see that um this is this has been great man uh, i'm really excited i would I don't know if you're interested, but I would love to have you come on again and like talk some more arena stuff. There's been a lot of new metas uh, we kind of touched on today, but mm. I don't think we got in depth. And like this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while, but like kind of discuss the new metas, kind of talk about which champions people should start focusing on. You know the kind of gear that we need to be holding on to and the you know the substats that work. For Absolutely, that. I would love I would to. Love have to... Oh gosh, well, I would love to come back on and. and... We could even do like, oh gosh, I, this sounds like toxic in my head, but like we could do like an account comparison of here's like like running the exact same team. This is this is what I run. These this is the gear on my champions versus yours, and then like oh so like this is what people should work towards. This is what people should aim for. What kind of stats you're looking for? Like what gear to keep and what to keep on it for platinum arena? Like. Look, I'm I 100% I'm behind this because honestly I'm not I'm competitive, but I enjoy having fun and I enjoy learning even more than I enjoy winning, which is maybe maybe that's good, maybe that's bad, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but the truth of the matter is, is like I I'm I have no problem calling what I do like I know what I'm good at, and I know what I'm not, and I'm right. totally fine accepting that, right? Like I want to get better. And that means accepting that criticism. So yeah, I would love to do that. I'd love to be able to compare my trenda with yours and have everybody understand why your <laughs> trenda is way better than my trenda. You know, I think that'd be good for all of us. I'll learn more. Everybody else will learn more. I think that would be great. So yeah, I would. I think there's a lot of things we can do with this. Um, I definitely would love to do some more arena stuff, and I really enjoy talking with you. So it's kind of a good yeah, combination. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is awesome. This was a great time. All right, everybody. This is gonna wrap up this video. Um, just want to say thank you if you stuck out the whole thing, watched both parts of the video. Thank you so much. Um, I'm relatively new to YouTube, I would still say. Uh, so doing a collab like this with somebody like Deadwood, this was just a really cool experience. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully, I can do some more in the future, possibly more with Deadwood. He seemed interested. Um, but yeah, so if you guys were in, if you guys liked this video, liked this content, if you would consider uh, subscribing, liking the video, comment, etc., all that cool YouTube stuff, I'd really appreciate it myself. And I will hopefully see you again in a new video soon. Peace.